All right, guys, I am in Penn Center Mall right now in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. This is a pretty dang good looking mall here. But right now I am looking for the Spirit Halloween, which is apparently down here somewhere. Whoa, look at this ginormous guy right here, ready to rip your face off with those claws if you touch her baby. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Here it is. Look at the awesome glass front to this store. I'm just curious before we go in. We got the front here. We got all the posters on this side. Nope, I guess not. I was just curious if there was another entrance over here on this end. All right, I can already hear art going nuts in there. So let's go ahead and go in the store here, guys, and check out everything they have. I can already see they have tons of animatronics up here on the floor for sale. This is a pretty good looking store. I don't know how small or big it is. Like walking in, it looks small, but I can see that it goes back in this cove. And then it looks like there's a doorway over here. So let's begin with the Wheel of Fate since it's right inside the door. Here we go. What is it? What will it be? It's the eye! You know what, let's step right back outside for a second and take a look at these boxes here. Only because we can't see the front or the artwork on the boxes from the inside. So we got a ghost face right here. We got a towering Tallulah. We have a Wanda Webworth on the bottom and look who we have on the top, the deadly creeper. Over here we have, let's see, a stuffed dummy prop. We have two Bubba's. We have a jumping spider. We have a Nozzles. Oh my gosh, they have a Nozzles in stock. They have a Mr. Punchy and a night terror okay let's go ahead back in here guys and let's check out this stack right here and then we're going to come back to the animatronics they actually have set up we have a scary sitting scarecrow on top we have a stilts aka papa pins on the bottom we have a max straw over here look at this they actually have a slim in stock here they have a sandworm groundbreaker over here we have a ringmaster and they have the bouncy jason head pillows and look at this. What the heck? This is the first time I've ever seen this in a spirit. It is a stuffed Casper. How cool is that? He is $34.99. You know what I really like about him? Even though he's white, he has like that sparkly material like on the original ghost face costume. Is this? Yes, this is a doorway here that goes back into another section and we have more animatronics here. We got a night terror on the top. We got a demonic gatekeeper down here. We got a grave watcher. Look at this. They actually have an eternal rest in stock right here in Ontarianto. Canada. They also have a Nozzles the Clown on the bottom and a Fogging Skull Pile on top. I didn't think we'd see one of those till we got to the Canada Dry region. All right, let's come on back through here. What is this? Two for ten dollars. Freaky fabric. Look at this. They have all kinds of different colors. They got orange, purple, what is this, gray or brown or maybe even green since I'm colorblind? And then they have this white. Okay, fine, maybe it's beige. And then we have black down here. They actually have the 12 foot Pennywise and the 12 foot ghost face. I own the ghost face, but not the Pennywise. They have the 12 foot jumbo and this giant snake down here, 20 feet long, that I kept saying I wanted to buy last year and I never did. Oh my lord, I see something else that I have not seen in any other stores. People are going gaga, literally baby gaga for this guy right here. The Art the Clown Horror Baby. Look at this, guys. They have two of them right here. These things are so difficult to find in the States. Look at his outfit. This is hilarious. And he even has the fingerless gloves on. That is so awesome. They also have Ghostface and Michael Myers here. Guys, these Canadian stores are killing it. All right, how much is this guy? 65 bucks for Art the Clown Horror Baby. We have a plethora of zombie babies here, including the new ones, Barbara Wire and Young Peekaboo Clown. <laughs> We got Scabs and the Secret Keeping Cat ganging up on us. We have a whole bunch of the Hello Rats. We have the Zombie Squirrels. We have the Creeping Cats. Let's leave some stickers for the Cauldron. We have the Crows over here. A murder of crows. Carrot triplets. Look at this. We got two Hook Eye guys here. And we have two Hook Head Hogs. Wait a minute. What is this? It's a Beetlejuice prop. 
Apparently, okay, it's a crossbody bag. It's Lydia's camera. That is pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. And look, it has a little zipper pouch inside that looks like a Polaroid with Barbara and Adam as ghosts. This is cool, the little Beetlejuice sculpture here. I'd like to make one of these, actually, like a big life-size one. Oh, crap. Here's another thing everybody's looking for that they cannot find, the art Crispy's cereal box. This is actually made from wood and you just hang it on the wall. But how cool is that? I've only seen this in one store in the States so far, guys. So far, Canada is killing it with the art props. I can't get it on there. <laughs> All right, let's make our way back up through here and go see the animatronics they have set up at the door. All right, let's start with the sitting scarecrow. Reach into my bowl if you dare. I dare. It's the regular sitting scarecrow, too. It's not the scary one, even though he's pretty scary as he is. All right, let's come over here and get art going. <laughs> Aside from that horn, it seems very quiet in the store. We got Cotton Candy Dan here. Let's get him going. Come on, Dan. Attention all kiddos! I found a lost hearing. Good job, mister. All right, let's get this guy going here. Uh-oh. Where's his... He doesn't have a thing. Oh, he must be on the sensor. Will he follow me? Yep, there he goes. I know I see you, Mr. Follower. Yeah, he doesn't follow me if I have the camera way up here, but if I lower it... There he goes. Let's say hello to Mr. Steven Seagal. Excuse me, sir. I think you got a little ketchup from your cheeseburger, from my cheeseburger on your beak. All right, we got Tallulah and the Dark Princess here. Let's get the Dark Princess going. Come on now. Here she comes. I just barely hear her. I love how her hair gets thrown up in the air. That's totally awesome. I'm going to have to watch a video online to see what she actually says, because even though it's quieter in here than the usual stores, it's definitely too loud to hear what she says. All right, let's get Tallulah going here. Come on, Tallulah. Here we go. That seemed a little hesitant. <laughs> she waited longer than usual to jump. And look at how all her seaweed is thrown up there on her hands. All right, let's move on back through this way here, see what we can find in the back. I like to scope out the store and check out all the cracks and crevices and corners just in case they have animatronics sitting around somewhere. All right, let's check out this side over here. I don't see any other sitting around. Oh, look at this. I don't think I've ever seen this costume, the Cemetery Bride. That looks pretty cool. You know, I did notice these big fur coats that they have here in the Canada stores that I haven't seen in the States. I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be, but this here beside them makes me think of Beth on Yellowstone, so maybe it's like a impromptu costume for that, or maybe it's a pimp costume. In which case, you'd want to visit this section right here check this out we got the gold pimp chains right here they're blinged out they got the bling veneers here we got the pimp ring set the bracelet the spinner chain giant dollar sign necklace glasses the pimp cane and even fake money a whole stack of hundos it's all about the Benjamins what the heck is this inflatable I don't think I've ever seen this one before Toy Story alien kit okay it's not inflatable but it's the giant three-eyed alien mask. I don't think it comes with the shirt or the gloves, but it says it comes with the mask and the patch. So you must just have to find your own shirt and gloves, and then it comes with that patch right there. The claw decides who will stay and who will go. I do think this is awesome. The crossbody treat bag, which is actually a Monsters, Inc. scream container. And look at this. Just like the other store, they actually have a whole stock of the Art the Clown Spirit logo shirts. Holy crap, look what else they have, guys. They have the Art the Clown Art Crispies crossbody bag. Not only one, they have three of them. That is amazing. I haven't seen these in any stores in the States at all yet. And they have three in this store right here. And I think that is a good note to end this one. Spirit Halloween, Penn Center Mall in St. Catherine, Ontario. Get down here if you want to art the clown crossbody bag.
spirits open. Let's go. Oh.